Hello, hello, hello. And hopefully it won't come to that HD, but... Welcome, welcome, everybody. I am back with Pokeboomers. Uh, this is Gen 6 of Pokemon. I have not played this gen before. I'm nuzlocking through it. Week by week, gym by gym, with my two rivals, Avalon and Hugh, who are linked down in the title, as well as members of the community crazy enough to play along. Uh, last night, I got a... Some okay catches. Um, got Nazuril, Inevitable Pidgey, uh, uh, Bidoof, and then a Scatterbug. I've done a little bit of leveling off stream. I still have the gym trainers to take on, and I want to try to, uh, to avoid over leveling in the gym leader fight itself if I can. The level cap this week is 12. I don't know if it's going to be possible to dodge that, but damn it, I'm going to try. Also, I like how when I go into that screen, it's just a big mass of green on the top screen. That's nice and awkward. <laughs> anyway, may as well have Bidoof work on something productive while I'm walking around. Uh, I did a little bit of EV training as well. That's just mostly a lot of target practice. I think that, uh, for the most part, my strategy for the gym is going to rely on old Falcomon here to open. And then, once I can evolve her, Palmon, to bring it home versus Vivillion, because rollout will hit with times four effectiveness. And I am 99% sure that I have a friendship evolution ready to go once she uh, levels up to nine. But I need her at at least level 10. I wish I could have her at level 9 and go into the gym because... Honestly, that's like... I think she she resists infestation. So that's like the most scary thing the gym leader can do to me already disarmed. But I don't know. We're just going to have to see how things play out. But first and foremost, I need to deal with the gym trainers. Also, I am loving the... Can I not go in? Okay. This couldn't be on my Heelys to go in. Understandable. I've been using those things all over the damn place. Uh, during my off-stream stuff. It's so nice to just zip around, you know. Get all my steps in. Do you give me, like, a fresh water or anything like in Gen 5? What's the hustle, little Crustle? Welcome to Santa Loon City Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be. No worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're the ones who are going to be doing all the battle. Am I right or am I right? Right? Jump on that pole there and you'll be on your way to where the gym leaders are waiting for you. Whoops, but wait. Before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses Bug-type Pokemon. Got it? Okay. They respect your intelligence a little more. They're not like, you should probably use these types to win. Okay, um, I know the bubbles are where you go to reach the gym leader. I'm just not sure if, like, all the gym trainers are required battles along the way, which is why I'm going in a little bit underleveled. It looks like this guy can be dodged, but I do need to at least get some XP on Palmon. Probably on Burtmon and Yamon, too. If they come in, things have gone very wrong. Hamter, I am fine leaving at level 10. In case I need him to, like, pinch hit on Vivillion. But I assume Falcomon should just be able to explode the Surskit pretty well. Because I have stuffed her full of special attack EVs. So that Gust should hit with the force of... Well, not the move Hurricane, but hit with the force of a Hurricane. This is kind of awkward trying to move diagonally. Can I not? Maybe I can't. Oh, I can. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. Oh, and I think I... I almost definitely still have... Animations off from the grinding I was doing last night. I'll need to fix that shortly. Okay, Lediba. I forget what Lediba does. And even though it's a Gen 2 Pokemon, I've just never... I don't respect it. <laughs> um, the 
that's right. It's a special defense wall, and it doesn't really have much else. So, Palmon, in her current form, can do basically nothing to it. So, I may as well just swap out now. Um... Flying doesn't resist flying, so Falcomon should be a decent uh, call here. Hopefully. Also, I know... Ooh, Supersonic. Okay, you're busting that out. I know I said in, like, some of the stream stuff that I might be doing Fuga 2 if uh, I can wrap up the gym quickly, but we're gonna... Oh, okay, never mind. They have animations on. That might have to be a TBD because uh, I managed to, like... I don't know, just old person things. I stood up wrong or something. My back hurts like a mofo. Don't get old, kids. I actually do get old because the alternative is not great. Anyway, I'm in some minor pain. It's not like awful, but... Oh, that's a multi-hit move. Okay, that's not great. I don't like that. Come on. Come on, Fel, come on. God damn it. Okay, I can't risk you anymore. Great. Good talk. Well, I led with Palmon, so I guess I can bring in Hamter. This thing is just gonna hard wall embers, but at this rate, I guess I'm throwing my entire team at this stupid damn Lediba. Just because of Super Sonic. I will do what I can, however. Okay, that's... That's very good, actually. Stop! Do not confuse my hamster, please. Also, uh, just in case you didn't notice, I do have set up a little prediction if you want to gamble with your garlic coin on whether or not I will manage to kill a Pokemon this stream. And also, also, if you weren't aware, to help curb my murderous tendencies towards my own team, uh, for every Pokemon of mine that I get KO'd this entire run, I'm going to be giving a gift sub to you all in chat. Um, like, one per death, obviously, not, like, currently I have six people viewing me, I wouldn't give out six gift subs. I ain't made of money, but, you know. I, I told this story yesterday, but, like, there's this law that passed where it's like, oh, you get charged if you don't bring your reusable bags in grocery stores here in Denver. And that's led to me, like, suddenly just always using reusable bags. So I'm hoping I can do something similar. It's set at the same levels that I had at uh, yesterday, River. But if it's true for anyone else, I can, uh, I can turn up me and the game. Everything should be the same, though. Are you watching on a different device, maybe? Yeah, if there's if there's audio issues, if I'm if I'm quiet, please let me know. Huh. Okay. Let me is it like really, really quiet or just a little bit quiet? Because I don't want to blow anyone's ears out if they're not having the same uh experience. But I'm willing to turn myself up a little bit. I'm at, like, the normal level where I'm... I shouldn't be... Okay. That is fair. Still, you're the one speaking up, so, you know, squeaky wheel gets the grease and all that. <laughs> okay, so, Falcomon is already level 10, which I don't love. Um... Because I'm counting on Falco to be my lead into the gym leader here, so... Still, that Ladybug was the highest level thing I should be fighting. Basically, I just need to mix it up with enough trainers to get Palmon evolved. Well, evolved into level 10. Can I still... I can still sprint. Okay. So that was entirely skippable, huh? You look like you're not skippable, though. Unless I miss my guess. So, Palmon should get a little boost here. No? Really? Okay. Can you just get... Oh, you can just get all the way to her without fighting any of her trainers? Okay, that's 
weird. That's weird. I kind of love it. And actually, it might be smarter to just grind up um, outside of the gym in that case. If I don't have to fight any of these jokers... Or wait, no. That lass over there. She... I Yeah, she will intercept me. Yeah, you have to fight the last one. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Antihero. I had it running for ten minutes, because I wasn't sure how long it would take for me to get to the gym leader, but... There's always the next time. Let's see, the last. You, Kakuna and Combi, neither of which I'm too worried about. Palmon could maybe solo Kakuna, depending on what moves it actually uses. <laughs> Such weak prey, you've been caught right up in my spider web. Combi? Oh, com Combi? That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> You'd like to buy a Y? I'm sorry, we have no Ys here. It's not a, it's not a vowel in this stream. Because, you know, they, they got that sometimes nonsense going on. Because it's a honeycomb. Right. I get it. Wait, that's... Oh, po right. Poison is super effective versus fairy. Luckily, it's only poison sting, so it really doesn't matter. Because it's still only hitting me for two. <laughs> yeah, well, technically Azura. It's Meryl's baby form, but yes. I did, Leafy. I think that was my last catch of the night. I think that was shortly after you headed out. But yeah. Palmon is the fifth member of the team, and she is going to be pretty key to my victory today, I think. And down you go. Ah, okay. Well, no worries. I... One way or another, I'll probably be live for a bit. Yeah, Azumarill, yeah. <laughs> Take as much time as you want. Yeah, who knows how much I'll actually need. Now, what is Combi? You're, you are just bug flying, right? Bug flying. I don't even know what kind of moves this thing gets. It has Sweet Scent and Gust. I don't think I need to be too afraid of either of those. Digimon theme song? <laughs> Digimon Digital Monsters. Okay, that hits for six. I can hang with that for a little bit. Not that Bubble is doing a huge amount of damage, but... All I need is one physical attack and then it's over for you bozos. Blue girl? Thank you? But no, Leafy. Fear not, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't kill the star of my own ship. Um, I really don't want to give Falcomon or Hamter any XP if I can help it. Let's bring in Burtmon. I don't have a ton of faith in Burtmon, but, you know, at least spread out the XP a little bit, I guess. Oh yeah, Gust is only six. We can hang in for a bit. You worry me sometimes, Leafy. I ever tell you that. <laughs> Though, I don't know. We'll see how Burtmon uh, performs. All hail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as gods go, Arceus is right there. Ah, uh, no fair. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. And now it's time to piss off some people by evolving at level 9 so I don't get charm. But I don't care about charm. Uh, 
I want them increased stats. There! Now Palmon is really shaped like a friend. Wait a god of mine not state the do. I mean, alright. Alright, how is Palmon looking now that she's new and improved? Much better. Look at that huge power. That water typing, we can get stab on our crappy bubbles. Glorious. Meryl can be a close second. I mean, it's like, she's like the avatar of the Bidoof God, because she's the one doing all the work smiting the unbelievers. Not that I buy into this ridiculous canon, but, you know, I can entertain it for a bit. So basically, um, I just need to get everyone up to, like, level 10, and then I'll be good to take on the gym leader. And I'm going to do that in wild Pokemon battles, because I'm a big old coward. And because I think there's only one more gym trainer anyway. Yeah. Now, I need to check something very important. Okay, Azuril came on on Route 22, so I don't want to grind there on the off chance that my luck kicks in and I get a shiny, because that means I would have to force Azuril or er, Meryl out of the team. <laughs> but Meryl is the water rabbit. Oh, but I guess not like the water rabbit. I see what you mean. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't even think to test my grinding playlist. Um, okay, this will be an adventure then. Let's see if the grinding playlist is broken. <laughs> Hang on. It appears to not be broken. Why is it so goddamn loud? Oh, is it not gonna shuffle? Uh, that's fine. Whatever. How is that? Yeah, because it looks more rabbit-like afterwards. So we're now moving into a little bit of grinding podcast. Let's get oh, Bidoof is ready to take out a bag. This music is way too epic for what's happening on the screen right now. <laughs> Just Meryl wiping out some lobies. So I gotta say, Meryl is like the one saving grace. I was not feeling good about my team until I managed to snag Palmon. But with Palmon, I think I've got a decent shot. Because like the rest of my catches just kind of are there. I don't have a ton of faith in the rest of them. This feels really loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. There we go. Anyway, Bidoof, please take your free HP EVs. So convenient to be able to do this on uh, team members that I are uh, less priority while just running around. I appreciate it. Ooh! You have your backyard bun as a desktop mon? There's a backup mon. I... There's probably a way. I don't know. Did I not have another HP bag? Um... I guess defense is fine on you. Okay. Um, I didn't hit level 10, right? Right. Very close, though. But I'm feeling pretty alright about my odds going into uh, Friday. You know, assuming I don't stupidly get someone killed, I think I should do pretty well. Like, maybe not amazing. I feel like usually in Pokeboomers, when I do well uh, week one, I have some kind of gimmick re revolving around RNG that I can exploit. Like, uh, you know, the bite the flinch spam that I used on Hugh so well week one in uh, Gen 5. But the only real move here that I have that is, like, pretty unfair is the rollout I'm about to get on Palmon. 
Which, like, is gonna be great. Tricks are for kids, you son of a bitch. Yes, I would love to learn Defense Curl. We can get rid of Water Gun, because it is worse Bubble, which is weird to me, but whatever. And then... Learn the move rollout. Why, yes. I'd love to. Water sport can go away. <laughs> Bimbert is anti-gun. <laughs> no way, man. I want I want um I want married gay couples to be able to protect their legal marijuana plants or whatever. <laughs> All right, Burtmon needs to get a little work in. But actually, I I don't guns make me very very nervous. Like my uh, my brother and my dad um like to do like clay pigeon shooting, but like I was always way too nervous to like ever do it myself. Just like holding just an actual firearm, just like freaked me out. Like you know, if I like do something wrong with this, I'm going to grievously harm or like kill someone so it's like eh, no you have returned in time for grind podcast rip luckily my grind playlist was not broken i forgot to test it like an intelligent person because i was just like ev grinding and trying to fix my setup a little bit before a stream went live i didn't even think to like oh yeah i might need the stream playlist here I know, right? I, I miss harassing the Audinos. It was such a great pastime. Do we get an equivalent to Audinos? Maybe? Hopefully? But no, uh, clay pigeon sleepy. Not actual pigeons. Which are like, um... Oh, what are the other terms for it? Um, skeet shooting? Or target shooting? Basically, you have a little, like, clay disc in a launcher that you fling into the sky and you shoot it with a shotgun. Trap and... Yes, trap. That's the other one. No more Adino equivalents ever. We need to go back. We need to go back to Anova. I knew someone was going to do it. I knew someone was going to do it, HD. <laughs> it was inevitable. That's true. I might do that on the next... Um, like, I think I know my big project for the next break that po Pokeboomers will take between Gen 6 and 7, but I might also sneak in a little Black 2, White 2. Marty, we have to go back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that came up last night. I wonder if that would, like, break Xavier's brain, who is just getting to understand how apparently weird my Pokemon opinions were that, like, I, I like the old ways, but black and white were my favorite Pokemon games so far. That's what I've heard. Like, it seems like even people who... Well, not people who hate Gen 5, but people who are a little, like, down on Gen 5 still like Black 2 and White 2. Also, I'm not paying attention to the EVs gained here at all, but it's Bidoof, so... Meh. Oh, do you not play as your same trainer from the original Black and White? Okay, thank you for dropping by, Leafy. Appreciate it. Have a good supper. A legit sequel. Interesting. I'm not sure why my mind just, like, assumed you'd be playing as your same trainer from the first game, but I guess that's what was in my brain. Oh, two years after. Okay. I mean, that's probably good. It lets them, like, do something different with, uh story and all that you know in as much as pokemon is gonna try and have a story though black and white they they made a decent attempt like well not more than a decent attempt they had a story it wasn't like amazing it was really good for a pokemon story on the whole it was there what do you mean team plasma become terrorists were they not already <laughs> Oh, good. Bianca and Sharon. My favorite parts of Gen 5. Did it... Holy shit, really? That's hardcore. They're like, we've lost our king, and Gestus is probably, like, 
sent to the Shadow Realm or something. I guess we'll just bomb things. I mean, you know how it is. You lose your charismatic cult, question mark, leader? You just start blowing things up. You know, relatable, right? We've all been there, right? You know, those lonely nights in the compound? <laughs> I should probably not joke about that any... Wait, guess this is not, like, in super war criminal jail? How? Well, I might play it, so never mind. Don't tell me. But anyway, I probably shouldn't joke about cults too hard with uh, how much I've leaned on conspiracy theories sometimes and how I've mentioned that my family is, like, the cult of... their the cult. Is, um, a group of shady merchants for, like, kind of a cult up north. <laughs> We bring in forbidden things like alcohol, and in return, we get their high-quality agricultural products. <laughs> My favorite game with attempted child murder. I mean, it's got some stiff competition. You still gotta play both Fuga games. Whole lot of attempted child murder there. Mm. Oh, not a silent protagonist. Okay. Bold. I mean, some, like, actually, like, really good story JRPGs never managed to break out of their silent protagonist mold. Looking at you, Dragon Quest, it's okay to give your main character a personality. But seriously, Dragon Quest is, are, are great, they're great games. Oh, okay, it's all optional. Wow. Well, I don't know, I feel like that barely counts. That's almost the same as, like... Hmm. I mean, I guess it's something. I don't know. I shouldn't be too down on something I have not witnessed for myself, I suppose. Are you done? Okay, I was like... I don't know what the smiley face means. I think it's just the exclamation mark that means they're done with the punching bag. <laughs> so I had one of the people I work with today, because I mentioned um, towards the end of the workday that it was like, oh man, I'm going to eat the second that uh, I get done, because I've had chili cooking all day and the smell's been torturing me. She was like, oh, I want your recipe. And my first thought was, like, I kind of don't have a recipe because I've made it so much. And my second thought is, will she think I'm a crazy person for listing 5 to 20 unseeded serrano peppers as part of the ingredients for, like, five servings worth? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I love me some spicy food. If a food, generally speaking, if a food can be 15 to 20 HD, don't short sell me, darling. Uh, <laughs> if a food that I make can be spicy and is not spicy, in my kitchen, it means I've done something wrong. But I mean, I do vary it up sometimes based on the vibe. Did I say five? I meant 15. Okay. I blame streamer brain. You know, 15 still ends in five, but eh. Like, today I had to settle for jalapenos, which was weak sauce like it was nowhere near hot enough i legit added hot sauce to my own chili <laughs> numerically yes grammatically no <laughs> fair enough like a shiny fletchling would be kind of cool i know i have a fire type already and i'm sure these things show up other places but like fire flying is pretty neat you know, I've heard this thing called Discount Moltres, and anyone who's seen enough of our uh, Grand Prix tournaments in between gens know that uh, I love me some Pyrodrone. I like me some Moltres. It's a big old meme, but I keep using it. Red pepper flakes go in everything. Handshake emoji, HD. Handshake emoji. Me diet Moltres. Oh, you're faster? Oh, I guess it is level 5. That's reasonable
It's a Bidoof, yes, but it's a Bidoof that overleveled by four levels at low levels. I don't know. I thought that was maybe going to be enough. But yeah, those sure are Bidoof stats. <laughs> It sure is a Bidoof. Bidoof out of 10. Wait, will Yavon be able to, like, fight things here? Um. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just have to run from, like, Fletchling and Pidgeys. That's fine. Or I could, like, go into the forest, I suppose. That's probably safer yet. Because Scatterbug is not strong yet. Yeah, I'll be able to use Infestation, assuming I don't horribly screw things up somewhere. Q does have ducks. That thing is a problem. And my best answer is going to be a big, obvious rollout that he's going to see coming approximately eight miles away. <laughs> so that's not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Still, I know he's uh, he's pretty worried about the old rollout Meryl, so I don't know, there could be something there. Tactics? <laughs> Allow me to quote Advance Wars. Strategy? What's a strategy? <laughs> uh, I've been playing that game a lot off stream. I've, I'm like more than halfway through the uh, challenge campaign of black hole rising so good finally like getting a little bit more of a oh shed skin that's annoying neo tank spam <laughs> i mean legit yeah i just finished up like um today over lunch um i finished up colin and um got a little ways into yellow comet or sorry gold comet as it's called now but, yeah, every call of mission, I was like, yes, build all those cheap tanks. Gold rush, gold rush, gold rush. That was not a lot of XP. Okay, Kakuna's not worth it. Yeah, because, you know, they're the, they have the obvious Asian flavor to them. Actually, well, Fletchling... Fletchling won't have fire of flying moves at level 4, will it? Yeah. Actually, will Pidgey even have? Wait, I might have been safe out there after all. Hang on. And now, of course, I don't remember what... Yeah, they learned Gust at level 9. I'm being silly. There's no reason for this. And right on cue with being silly. <laughs> oh, well. I am curious to see how long Yaman stays relevant. Because it does look like there's some neat things I can get on, it, on uh, its move list. Like, at high levels, but man. I just know bug Pokemon tend to, like, fall off a cliff. Like, pretty soon. Like, it'll be good this week and maybe next week. But, oh, is next is next to Jim Rock? I literally haven't looked. It's Rock. To okay, yep. Okay, so Yaman will be useless next week unless I can count on my other five team members to... 100% get the job done without any intervention from me. Rock, Ice, and Rock Dragon? Interesting. So let's see. Uh, how does Fairy interact with Dragon again? Does Fairy super effective Dragon or is it the other way around? Oh, it uses the fossil types. That's, that's neat. Super effective and immune. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think... I mean, I don't know. I, I've i seen other people do, like, language learning streams before. I, I get... I could try my hand into Duolingo stream sometime. But Japanese is so hard. Realistically, I'd probably want to brush up on my Spanish first. Yeah, I don't know if it's been specifically Duolingo, but I think this is more of a thing over on, like, YouTube streams. Um, basically, some of the VTubers that I follow have seen them do language learning streams, and I'm like, interesting. I think that would be really hard with chat distracting you. Just, like, by virtue of existing, but I guess it's a good way to get themselves to, like, you know, force them to keep to a schedule. I know, right? But wait, River, I've seen you in a Valence chat. You too are cringe, but it's fine because we are both free. I mean, you say that, HD, but I, at least last I checked, like, uh, almost a significant minority of my audience comes from Brazil. I still have no idea why. I'm still chalking it up to the Chavez emote. Um, <laughs> because I do not really bust out Espanol Bert. <laughs> if Ellen doesn't have an open... I mean, they're not all like that, River. A lot of them are, but they're not all like that. Portuguese Duolingo stream. Yeah, Portuguese, a language I know literally nothing about. <laughs> Hard to tell over text. You know how these things go. Similar enough to Spanish. Okay. Still, I think I'd want to, like, get my Spanish a little more down, so what tiny amounts of Spanish knowledge I have wouldn't be, like, cross-contaminating. I just do not enjoy most of them. That's, that's fair. That's fair and totally valid. There's a lot of VTubers that I don't care for either. Like, there was actually, um... Oh, I forgot her name. Um, she's a VTuber here on Twitch. Um, I just happened to... It was finally something in, like, my recommended channels where it was like... Oh, that... I... I think she was, like, playing a game I was interested in? I don't know. Something was like, oh, that could be interesting. And I clicked in. And she was using this really interesting, like, sort of... Like... PS1 era 3D model model, so it looked all like blocky and that, but still was quite expressive. It was like, oh, this is really cool. I like this unique look. And then I wasn't I wasn't able to catch her for a few weeks. Then I tuned in again. She was just generic big titty anime girl. I was like, okay, this is kind of all right. No thanks. Because, like, I appreciate me some fan service, but, like, if that's going to be all you're going for as a VTuber, like, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Wait, the new Steam layout? They change it? Mine looks the same. Yeah, DM me, because mine still looks the same. Maybe I have a setting somewhere, be like, don't give me the terrible new UI. <laughs> or they changed it on me, and I've just gotten so used to it that I don't even remember the before times. What cunning bastards. Imagine if I got a shiny Dunsparce. <laughs> just, you know, suddenly add that much more time onto the... Oh, you know Rage. Okay, that's um a little terrifying this early on. I would too. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I mean, this is not the mystery game song that I tend to use that much. Okay, I'm going to look at this new UI. That doesn't look that different.
Am I blind, River? I'm not seeing how it's different. <laughs> it is from it, though, HD. You are correct. Maybe I've just gotten numb to bad, like, mobile-friendly design changes to various things in my day-to-day. I'm sure if you sent me something that, like, was like, this is what it used to look like, it'd be like, oh, yeah! But, I don't know, it's just not in my brain. Then I usually, like, I rarely bring up the store page anymore. I'm usually just sitting on libraries, so. Which, that, I'm, like, 90% sure has looked the same ever since they changed it to have, like, categories and stuff display, which I honestly like. All right, Yaman to nine. Just gonna get you up to level 10 so we can get you... Oh, you evolved now. Hang on, hang on. Let's give this the proper gravitas. Though the evolution song sounds kind of weak in this version. Gotta admit. No, I looked into it and waiting is not worth it. You have to wait until level 15 to get Bug Bite. Enjoy having my email spammed with an item on your wish list is on sale, right? Yeah, same. Every couple days will be like, Oh hey, this game you added to your wish list three years ago is on sale. From $20 down to $15. And I'm like, um, I don't know. I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, the Evolution song, I don't like what they've done to it, Gen 6. Not great. Um. Oh, Shed Skin. It goes back to Compound Eyes when it evolves, though, right? It is fucking better. So far, the soundtrack has been... A little mediocre for Pokemon. I'm not willing to call it, like, bad yet. Hey, it's Pikachu. It does go back. Okay, good. Good. That was all I needed to be sure of. And Shed Skin is going to make dealing with static slightly less cancer. But only slightly. Game Freak isn't that incompetent. I mean, you never know with ga with old Game Freak. You never know. Yamon really shouldn't be coming out for this gym leader fight. This is just strictly a just-in-case. Because my luck can take kind of weird twists and turns. This was when they were just starting to go senile. What a way to, to phrase it. I guess they were like, all right, none of you bastards liked Gen 5. I guess we'll stop trying. <laughs> See, I haven't played, like, Gen 7, 8, or 9, so I feel like I can't make an accurate judgment. That's one thing I would love to do is sort of, like, reflect on my thoughts on the series as a whole. If Pokemoomers keeps going through, like, Scarlet and Violet, like, oh my god. Oh, when we get to games where the Pokemon goes open world. You guys thought you heard me complain before when I played Gen 3? With my sense of direction? <laughs> open world Pokemon games will... I'll, I'll hate every second of it. <laughs> Eventually everyone will come to Gen 5. This is a good one. We can only hope that they will see the light. Though it does seem like, uh, from what I've been able to, like, gather, I guess everyone hated Gen 5 when it came out, but kind of, like, over time, people have, like, come to appreciate it more, so maybe the same thing will happen with, uh, you know, everyone in the in the Pokeboomers community. <laughs> the scene is the worst game. Wow. That's, I mean, Gen 3 is right there. How could they have such an opinion? 
Gen 3 was right was right there. Everyone realized how good they had it. <laughs> I'll allow it, auto mod. <laughs> well, it said going to slap he was like, ooh, violence. Which, like, technically yes, but eh. But, you know, I have it to be safe. Like, I have Automod turned a little bit higher up, and then I just allow exceptions. It straight up glitched you out. Interesting. It's like, oh, you said the word slap. I have to completely eject you from chat now. <laughs> okay, Tackle is doing four. I might need to pull Yamon out. Watching an ad about how birds are drones. Based? Based? <laughs> I knew they would I knew bir the birds aren't real advertising crew would find my channel eventually. It's a Marines ad. Never mind. <laughs> what is your second arch nemesis? Okay, crits are crits are not double. They're times and a half, so this is safe. So speaking of mobile haters of birds. <laughs> How can you kill that which has no form, though? Yeah, I think because I've allowed kill through before, but no one- I think you're literally the first person in chat to say something about slap. I- I don't remember where I would- where I could go to look up, um like, what I have on my whitelist or whatever, but... Please don't. She's been through enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the term slap. It doesn't really look at context. It's just words. For the most part. I gotta say, though, um, I'm already liking EVs a lot more with the addition of super training and, like, the training bags. So, so nice. So nice to be able to just easily, directly influence it. You know exactly what you're getting. The graphs aren't great, but they give you at least some idea. You do get the numbers when you complete training. Well, you see, River, it dinged you because of slap, and I hit the button to allow slap, to allow your message to post, so. Nothing with slap is, unless you have something else Automod doesn't like, is gonna get bombed. Gen 7 to, uh, exist. <laughs> that is an accurate summation from what I've heard. Uh... Something something, it's your boy, Team Skull, uh, no gym leaders, long neck, um, pineapple. That's it. That is all, that is all I know about Gen 7. Yeah, I know about the no gyms. Um, some friends of mine who are, uh, way more into Pokemon than me. Uh, told me about it because they were doing they were doing some challenge on the side I forget exactly what they were doing I think it might have been like a soul lock or some sort of thing where they were working together to complete the pokedex between them but they were doing gen 7 they were like oh yeah you know there's no gym leaders right I'm like what I don't know river we honestly haven't discussed it <laughs> I think because none of the three of us understand how those games work. <laughs> we might have to change it to be like every time you get to a plot relevant town or something. We're always just kind of focused on the gen at hand and like, I think the later we get, the, like the closer we get to the Switch Pokemon games, the greater the danger is that the current season of Pokeboomers is the last season of Pokeboomers. Because <laughs> I don't think any of the three of us are super enthused about taking on the Switch games. <laughs> like, I, 
I think I could be wrong on this, and I'm speaking for them, so you'd have to ask them to be sure. I think Hugh and Abalin have played the Switch Pokemon games at least a little, and I don't think either one was that impressed. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if we have Gen 7, and then, like, we we have this weird hang-up on it, and then, like, after that, all we would have to look forward to is the, uh, is the Switch Pokemons. I could see a universe. I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm seeing a universe where all three of us collectively go, yeah, no, maybe we just don't keep moving through the gens. And then it'd be like, we could do Gen 5 again. And then Avalon and Hugh pool their money and hire a Bitcoin assassin to come and break my kneecaps. I'm just saying, if one day you don't hear from me anymore. No. <laughs> Schrodinger's Pokeboomers, exactly. Kneecaps aren't required to play Pokemon. Very true. And my day job is work from home. So, we good. I could, oh, hey, Burtmon is done with the bag it was working on. Nice. That was, what did I have it working on? Uh, defense. I'm still taking notes on EVs just in case. Because the graphs are not super precise. Yeah, I know it can speed on it by, like, spamming clicking on it. Just, it's a nice thing to have it doing in the background while I'm just running around grinding XP. But yes, I'm very aware. Uh, every, like, punching bag L um, I've been doing, I've just been, like, I'm setting it and then just, like, spamming tapping it so I get it done. And that's a nice, easy 12 EVs towards the, uh, towards the stat I want. You can do both? Eh, that sounds like kind of a lot. But noted. <laughs> and this should be... Yes. Okay. We are at the level I wanted. Game sound, you may return. You may... There we go. It at least does great defense. It evolves right at 12. And since overleveling is already a concern, that seems like not worth it to me to bring it into the, the gym. Yeah, that hot 9 attack. I mean, I could swap it in to, like, get a little more XP soak going, I guess. It's not a bad plan, actually. Though I'm just not sure how well my Pidgey's going to stand up to um, an attack from Sir Skit. Because it's a bit of a paper tiger. Don't you want bug bite? Not enough. Not nearly enough. It is a surskit, but like I saw with um, Avalon's Pidgey that uh, it got hit a lot harder than I expected by that gym leader's surskit. So I feel like I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't go too risky here. <laughs> Literally the worst bug type. Um... All right, I am going to take a quick break, use the restroom, re-up my water, and then we'll go in and fight the gym leader. Yeah, but Avalon having minus special attack wouldn't affect how much damage he took. Mm. Anyway, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Hope you'll stick with me. And hey, maybe a Pokemon dies tonight. We'll see.
I see there's been high quality slander in my absence. Thanks for waiting, everybody, and welcome, Chao Pan. What is Pokemon Eternal X? A ROM hack, I assume? Okay, uh, let's just get the order set. We lead with Falcomon into there, and then I swap in Palmon later. And hopefully having everything at level 10 is enough to avoid overleveling. It still might happen. I don't know. The one danger point could be if Palmon takes a little too much damage from being swapped in. But I, I'll resist infestation and 18 defense will hopefully be enough to tank tackle from a pavilion. <laughs> no, I don't have charm because I don't care about it. Also because I knew it would make it would make at least one person angry, so mission accomplished. No Riz. Palmon is just here to be a pal. He's not here to hook up with anyone. Fight setup is very easy here, because I have no held items and no TMs. So I just go in with whatever I go in with. It's a weird feeling. <laughs> uh, I guess I could. Burtmon probably isn't going to do anything in this fight, but may as well. Basically just something, yeah, it super shouldn't matter. Okay, lead with Falcomon, bring in Palmon, and roll out to glory. Hamter is there on the back burner if need be. Yamon and Burtmon should be Sir and Dame not appearing in this fight. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I don't need to change any options back, right? Fast, battle effects on, set. Oh, I can change the... Oh, wow, I had no idea that there were this many... What's cockpit look like? Jim and I is brain dead. I did see that with Valen. But, you know, there's always that, uh... That fear there for me. But, anyway. Let's just dive right in. Uh, just to run through, if anyone is not familiar with the Pokeboomer's scoring system, this is just something that Hugh, Valen, and I do. It's 25 points for every gym leader you defeat, 15 points for every one of your fellow streamers you beat on Friday matches, you lose 5 points for every Pokemon that dies, you lose 5 points for every poke you lose 5 points for every level that you go over the level cap. So like if I had two Pokemon go to level 13, that's 10 points off for me. But um Avalon is already overleveled, so I will get to overlevel to match him. At the very least, after this fight. I mean, I might also overlevel too, in which case, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, enough stalling. Let's get in. You will? Oh well. I'll take I'll take a safe overlevel. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow the loss or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory. They're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic. This'll be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. Saying fantastic is like a personality trait, right? Her design is nice. And like, maybe a hot take, but I really like this gym leader theme. Ah, and she's decided to lead with Saskit. 
a crappy little bug. And uh, over in this corner, we have the, the blatant serial killer Falcomon, here to add another one to her body count. She opens up with Gust, but should absolutely devastate the enemy who decides to waste a turn on water sport. I do indeed like the battle UI. Gust goes out. You can see Falcomon's training paying off here, folks. That was absolutely devastating. Goes for the same thing. Surskit does get off an attack with that bubble. It hits for, honestly, more damage than expected, but Gust is going to bring her low. Fennekin is now weak. Does not matter. I was not planning on using Fennekin. Shit, you're already at level 11. That's not great. All right, now the villain comes in. Now we do a quick swap to Palmon, who should absolutely murder this hoe. Uh, no, Pew is doing his gym battle tomorrow. He is he is traditionally the last one to finish. First to start, last to finish. All right, there's infestation. Hits me for a measly three damage. But now I'll take a little bit of that damage over time. But I've got the ace up my sleeve. How would you like a times four weakness to your face, Pavilion? I don't even need to defense Kirk. Oh, you see what's coming, but this will not save you. Palmon, kill him! You managed to live through a hit, I must admit. I'm a bit impressed. Tackle? Ooh, that's more than I wanted to see. But we're fine, easy duck. The only question now is, do I overlevel? Thank you, Antihero, for that voice redeem. 475? Ah, to level 11? I was, like, just barely over level 10, so maybe I pull it off? <laughs> no overlevel! Oh, unless Falcomon does it. Nope! No overleveling! No overleveling. Never punished. Always rewarded. That is a 25-point gain for me. I will be leveling up one Pokemon to 13 for the battle on Friday to match with a Valen, but it gets to be a Pokemon of my choosing. <laughs> and let's uh, let's choose that uh, prediction outcome. Thank you to the believers. As no one died this stream. You and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Yeah, thank you for the warning. That was extremely helpful, River. Um, probably not. I probably would have had vaguely in the back of my mind, like, oh, Vivillion's level 12 and it's a final stage Evo. Maybe I go in at level 11. Young trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Pidgey have shown me a whole new depth of field. One po Pokemon level 13 and one level 14. Well, that's fine. Hugh might still overlevel to that crazy extent, and like, if we, if the rest of us have one Pokemon at level 13 and then everything else at 12, I don't think that's going to make a huge difference. Mostly we're just happy you're playing along. You do not get credit for the win, River. I grant you gratitude, but I do not grant you the rank of credit for this victory. <laughs> I'm memeing too. Wow, fantastic. You for the piece of plastic! With that bug badge, Pokemon up, up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep, even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a pro... Bo... Botog? Pro Photog. That's what the kids say, right? I'm a pro Photog. Uh, yes, Chow. That's something we've been dealing with for a minute. It, You need at least one EV and at least one of the stats, or Shodown's like, hold up, you made a mistake, right? infestation yeah we're well acquainted with the various foibles and frustrations of showdown <laughs> it was so bad in gen 2 oh my god gen 2 was a nightmare to get your teams entered 
Using a TM like that one there lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a Shutter. Set to 1 1,000th can snap shut. TMs are some of the best gear around. They're point and click easy and you can use them over and over again. Now the TM I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it and it'll be impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Uh, because apparently Pokemon is sexist in Gen 2. And so all female Pokemon have zero IVs in attack. Unless they're shiny. And so then you have to make sure you enter them as shiny. And still sometimes it'd reject it and be like, no, 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 that's wrong. And just a lot of messing with, like, stat XP, which you had no way to control. Like, we pretty well know our EVs in these later gens, but here, yeah. Sexist Johto, yep. Now then, can you zoom in a bit to check out the tent behind me? Take the stairs that you find beyond it, and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. Oh god, flash? Don't mention that cursed HM in my- Oh wait, flash isn't an HM anymore, is it? Hell yes. Gen 5 fixed that. God bless Unova. Another thing we have to thank it for. The greatest generation. Whoa, would you look at that bug badge? Nice. Very nice, future champ. But that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. How do you know that? After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head on up to the Pokemon Lab in Lumino City and show it to him, huh? So we do get to meet the Professor. We used Flash. And demonetized for Terms of Service. Um... Hmm... Oh, I do have a little bit of leveling to do, but I don't know for sure about what overleveling I need to do to, to be a parody. Because Q might overlevel by two levels. I doubt it. He's usually extremely well prepared. Um, but, like, if I bring a Pokemon at level 13, changes which Pokemon I'd want to have at level 13 versus if I get a Pokemon at level 14. You, you feel me? So I think I'm actually going to do my grinding up to par off stream. So I think I will start to wrap it up here. Um, I got my weird old man back problems, so I don't think I'm going to do any Fuga 2. Um, apologies if anyone ca came here hoping that they were going to get that, but I'm just going to start to wrap it up. Uh, if you want to follow the Poke Boomers, as we continue this challenge, please make sure you're following my rivals. And then uh, you can join us on the Discord. I also have a Discord where I just at everyone, everyone, whenever I'm going live with anything, if you want to join that. Otherwise, it's very low key. The Poke Boomers Discord is where I'm most social. Um, tomorrow evening, he will be doing his gym battle. And then Friday evening, we have an event on the Poke Boomers Discord. We will be doing our podcast and PvP. Where Avalon, Hugh, and I um, talk about our weekend Nuzlocke, talk about our catches, kind of how things are going for us thus far, share any updates from the community for any of you who are playing along. I know there are a couple of you in chat, and thank you for playing along with our craziness. Um, and then we go to battle using the magic of Pokemon... Uh, I almost said Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> Pokemon Showdown. Um, for, for, for further points and glory. Uh, it is not on Spotify. We haven't looked into that. It has such a visual element to it that we call it a podcast, but it's really only a podcast for like the first 30 to 45 minutes, and then you kind of need the visuals. That is something to maybe think about, though. Hmm. Anyway, um, and then for me, I will be streaming individually on Saturday at uh, 4.30. It is more like an event, I agree. Um... Saturday at 4.30 p.m. I'll be doing Shuffle Saturday, a different game every 30 minutes, completely randomly determined, with a little bit of influence for that RNG for you lovely folk, folks in chat. Um, do I know anyone who is streaming? Uh, you know what? We had cute creatures here in Pokemon. Let's have cute creatures in the real world. Raid over to Critter Vision, a very relaxing stream where it's just basically a wildlife camp. 
But uh, that is going to do it for me. Thank you again, everybody, um, for coming out. Spend a little bit of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it may be for you. If you're watching the podcast. Er, watching the podcast, Jesus. If you're watching the bot after the fact, I see you. I appreciate you. Um, my name is Vinbert. I'll see you around the internet. Ciao. I will look into that streamer. I just don't like to raid people I don't know, generally speaking. See ya.